Welcome everyone to my channel that is fast and easy maths which is dedicated to give you tips and tricks related to mathematics. So if you're new to my channel please hit the subscribe button and also hit the bell button besides it so that you get notified whenever I push up a new video. So students today we are going to understand how to find allied angles in matter of seconds and trust me students I am going to show you a formula with which you will never ever go wrong in finding allied angles and definitely you will be able to find all of these allied angles of trigonometric ratios in matter of just seconds okay. And also students, I would like to remind all of you all that at the end of this video, I post a question. You can mention the answer of that question in the comment section. I will read your answers and let you know if they are right or wrong. In case they are wrong, then I will also give the explanation of the same. So students, now what are allied angles? We already know the value of all the trigonometric ratios. For angles 0 degrees, 30 degrees, 45 degrees, 60 degrees and 90 degrees, correct? But what happens when someone asks you to find sine of 120 degrees or you have to find cos of 300 degrees? So here finding the value of sine of 120 degrees or cos of 300 degrees becomes a bit tricky. So I'm going to show you a formula which is going to give you always the correct answer and if you remember this formula then you will be able to solve any of these questions in matter of just seconds. So without further ado let's understand what is this formula. So the formula is any trigonometric function okay has to be expressed in terms of n into pi by 2 or you can also consider it as 90 degrees plus theta okay your first step is to convert any of these degrees in terms of multiples of 90 plus theta okay and then you need to check if n is even okay if it is even then the trigonometric function remains same okay and if it is odd then the trigonometric function becomes opposite meaning if you have a sine function and n is odd then instead of sine, you will find the cos theta of this particular allied angle. Okay. And you need to remember your original trigo function will always lie in n plus 1 quadrant. Students, so these are the steps and these are this is the golden formula with which you will be able to find allied angles of any trigonometric ratios. So without further ado, let's first convert sine 120 in terms of n pi by 2 plus theta. So here I can write it is 1 into 90 degrees plus 30 degrees. So now the next step is to check what is the what is n. Here as we saw n is 1 that means n is odd. So instead of finding the sign you will now find the opposite. What is opposite of sign? That is cosine. So you will write cos of 
30 degrees. Now students, did you see? It is very conveniently we got rid of this part. Okay. Now you just have to understand. Now you just have to bother about this particular angle that is 30 degrees in this case. Okay. And you have to remember that sine your original function that is your sine will always lie in n plus 1 quadrant. That means it will lie in second quadrant. And according to our rule of all silver tea cups, we know that in second quadrant sign remains positive. So my final answer will also be positive. Now we know cos of 30 degrees is nothing but root 3 by 2. So that is my answer for sine of 120 degrees. Okay. Now similarly let's try finding cos of 300 degrees. So the first step which we do is we will convert 300 degrees in terms of n pi by 2 plus theta. So here I can write it is nothing but cos of 3 into 90 degrees plus 30 degrees. Now again the n over here is odd. So we will take the opposite of cos. What is the opposite of cos? That is sine. So, I need to find sine of what? 30 degrees. Now, we need to check in which quadrant this cos function is lying. So, it will lie in n plus 1. That means 3 plus 1. That is in the 4th quadrant. And as we see in the 4th quadrant, cos is only positive. So, your, your final answer will also be positive. And we know that sine of 30 degrees is half. Okay. Now students, let's try finding tan of 765 degrees. So now 765, I can write it as nothing but tan of 8 into 90 degrees plus 45 degrees. Okay. Students, if you don't understand, you just have to divide this by 90 and you have to divide it in such a way that you get some kind of remainder. Okay. Now as written over here, the next step we need to check is the value of n. So here the value of n is 8. That means it is even. If it is even, your trigo function remains the same. So here your tan will remain same and you need to find the value of tan 45 degrees. Now we need to check what will be the sign of tan 765 degrees. So here we need to see that your final uh, your final trigger function will lie in which quadrant? So it will lie in n plus 1. That means 8 plus 1 is 9th quadrant. So as we can see this full one round is 4 quadrants. The next round will be 8 quadrants. Okay. So the, the ninth quadrant will be the first quadrant. And as we know that the first quadrant is always positive for all the trigger functions. So here your final answer will also be positive and tan of 45 is nothing but 1. Okay. Now students, let's check what should be the answer for sine of 570 degrees. So again, I can write sine 570 as nothing but 6 into 90 plus 30 degrees. So here since n is even, my sign will remain the same. So my final answer will be to find sine of 30 degrees. But now we need to also check what will be the sign of this particular trigger function. Whether it will be positive or negative. So we will first see where it will be lying. It will be lying in 6 plus 1 that is the 7th quadrant. So as we know 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7th. In 7th quadrant, only tan is positive. So, my final answer will be a negative sine 30. That is nothing but negative 1 by 2. I hope you've understood that in this manner, you can find allied angles of any trigger function in matter of seconds. Let's quickly just revise what we've done. The first thing is you need to convert any of these degrees in terms of n into 90 degrees or n into pi by 2 plus theta. Then the next step is you need to check whether it is even, whether n is even or odd. 
if n is even your trigger function remains the same but if it is odd then it will become opposite now students quickly understand the opposite of sin is cos so obviously the opposite of cos is also sin so what will be the opposite of tan yes the opposite of tan is cot the opposite of cosec is sec okay and vice versa okay now after doing that you have to then check very important step don't forget this step please otherwise your entire answer will go wrong you need to check what will be the sign of your trigo function whether it will be positive or negative for that you need to check in which quadrant your original trigo function is lying okay students if you if you have noticed i have written original so in case when n is if when n is odd your actual trigo function becomes opposite you don't need to check the sign of this particular trigo function you always need to check the sign of the original trigo function mentioned okay so in this step you will come to know that it is lying in n plus 1 quadrant and then using this using the golden rule of all silver tea cups you will know which trigo function is positive in which quadrant okay now as promised i want you all to find me the answer of cos of 690 degrees please mention this answer in the comment section and students please don't forget to hit the like button because that gives me a tremendous amount of encouragement to keep making these kind of videos so that's it for this video i will see you in the next one